Good morning, my puppies. How are you doing? Nice to meet you again. The topic before us today is statistics. The topic before us today is statistics. What do I say? Statistics. Say it after me again. Statistics. I know that this topic is new to you. Now, let's look at the objectives of the lesson. Now, at the end of this lesson, each of you should be able to define mean. To be able to define mean, both median and range. And also, to be able to find mean, both median and range, and also relate uh, the use of modes in analyzing population of, of data or data in daily activities. And relate the use of mean in daily activities. So, to be able to find mean, mode, median, and range at the, at the end of this uh, lesson. Now, let's look at mean. What is mean? Mean simply means average amount. It simply means average amount, which means that you can calculate mean the same way you, are, you can calculate uh, average. So, we are to calculate mean. You can also calculate mean in form of average. So, mean simply means average. Another name for mean is average. Another name for mean is average. And the mean is found by adding the numbers in the set of data and divide those numbers by the number of items. So, whether you are given set of numbers to find as mean, you are to add those numbers together and divide those numbers by the number of items. Now, for example, now, let's look at this uh, example or the formula at first. The formula says that sum of numbers all over number of items. Sum of numbers all over number of items. Now, find the mean of 9, 11, and 13. 9, 11, and 13. You are to add this number together. Add 9 plus 11 plus 13 together. Now, when you add it together, that, so 9 plus 11. 9 plus 11. Again, 9 plus 11, that is 20. 20 plus 13, that is 33. 33 over 3, that is 11. So, which means that your mean is 11. Now, what I've done there is to add all the numbers together and divided by the number of items. And the answer, your mean there is 11. Example 2. Now, find the mean of 1, 8, 6, 8, and 7. Again, find the mean of 1, 8, 6, 8, and 7. Don't forget that the formula is sum of numbers all over number of items. Again, sum of numbers all over number of items. Now, which means that you are to add these numbers together. When you add these numbers together, 1 plus 8, that is 9. 9 plus 6, that is 15. Then 15 plus 8, then plus 7. That is sum of these numbers, you are to add it together and divide it by the number of items. How many items do you have there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 items there. 5 items there. Now, so that's five items. That is 30 added together. That is 30. So 30 over 5. 30 over 5 is 6. Again, for better understanding. Number, that is sum of numbers all over number of items. That is 1 plus 8 plus 6 plus 8 plus 7 all over 5. That is 30. 30 over 5, that is 6. Now, let's look at this also. The A is in years of 10 students in the class are given below. Then sum of numbers, the number of items. You have to sum up these numbers together. That is, all these are sum of the ages of those students in the class. Then number of items, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All over 10. That's 110, all over 10. Add it up, get 110 over 10. To divide 1 and 10 by 10, it gives you 11. So 11 is the mean for that, uh, for that uh, question. Now, the next one we are going to look at now is mode. What is mode? The mode of a set of data 
is the number of items that appear most. The number that appear most in a set of data. Then the number that you can see most in a given data is simply known as mode. Then it has, that is that number, such number, have the highest frequency. And let's say a student scored the following marks in, in the tenth in the ten subject. Then we have a, a student scored the following marks in ten subjects: 70, 40, 55, then a 60, then a 60, and so on and so forth. Then all these they are what now? You have to find the mode of this number. Then we have the mark, then we have the frequency. Now, what is frequency? Frequency simply means the number, the, that is the number of occurrence. How many times that a number appear in a set of data simply means a frequency. Then when you look at that, uh, this data, you might find that 40 appears one time, 45 appears one time, 52 appears one time, 55 appears one time, and you can get 63 times, 71 times, and uh, 82 times. Now, which means that the number that appears most here is 30. So 30 is the mode. That is 60 is the, is the mode. 60 appears three times. Sorry, 60 is the mode. 60 appears three times. So the number that you can get most in a set of data simply means the mode. And frequency simply means the number of occurrence. That is how many times the number appear in a set of data. Simply means the frequency. Now, for better understanding, don't forget I said frequency, it means the rate at which something occurs or it is repeated. Now look at this, this one, example two. Find the mode of four, seven, five, seven, five, five, eight, and 10. When you look at it very well, you can describe that five appears three times, five, five, and five. So it appears three times. So, so five becomes the mode. So don't forget that. It means the rate at which something occurs. That is frequency. Then the next one is the median. The median is the middle number in a set of data, which are arranged in a numerical order. That is, before you can find your median, you need to rearrange it in, the, uh, in a certain order. That is, in order of increasing size. That is, arrange the number in order of increasing size. It starts from the smallest number to the biggest number. So, before you can find your Median, you have to rearrange those numbers in order of size. That is, arrange the numbers in order of size. Here now we have 9, 11, 20, 13, 17, 4, and 1. Then to find the median of this one, the least number there is 1, then followed by 4. Then we have 9, we have 11, 13, then 17, and 20. Then the middle number here is 11. How do we get the middle number? Now let's count from this side from the left hand side, one, two, three, to this side, or to the left hand side, and one, two, three, to the right hand side. So the number that falls in between is 11, that is the medium. Then where two numbers falls in the middle, that is where you have two numbers that falls in the middle, the, what, what you need to do is to, to add the two numbers together and divide it by two, because you can get the medium. It is possible for two numbers to, to, to fall in the middle. So when two numbers cross the middle, for example, now let's say we have one, four, six, and nine. Here now we have four and six that cross in the middle. Now what you need to do here now is to add four plus six. Four plus six is 10. So you have to divide 10 by, by two. So therefore, therefore 10 divided by two is five. Five becomes your median. Five becomes your median. Then range now. Range is very simple. Now, how do we find range? To find range, you need to look at those numbers very well. Which one is big? Then which one is smaller? Then you have to subtract the smallest number from the biggest number. That is range is the difference. That is, is finding the difference between the biggest number and the smallest number. So range is different between the greatest and the least or smallest number. E.g., find the range of 2, 4, 8, 10, 35, and 40. The least number here is 2. And the biggest number here is 40. Therefore, 40 minus 2, that is 38. The, your range now is 38. Your range is 38. Now, for better understanding, don't forget that here now, we plant about a mean mode, median, and how to find mean mode and a median in a set of data. Now, mean simply means average, which means that you can calculate mean in form of 
average. You can calculate mean in form of average. How do you calculate mean? You add up the numbers, then all over number of items. Now, the number, all, uh, the total number of items, all over number of items, you divide it. That's what will give you your, your mean. Then, the, the next one is the mode. The number that has the highest number of frequency in a set of data is the mode. The number that appear most. The number that appear most is your mode. Then frequency, don't forget, frequency simply means the rate at which something occurs or the rate at which something is repeated. Or the, the, the one that, a number, a particular number that, uh, that, that, that appear most in a set of data. So the rate at which that number appear, or you can see the number, is simply means for frequency. Then the next one is the median. And don't forget that median simply means the middle number. Then the number that falls in the middle is the middle number. If two numbers should fall in the middle, what you need to do is to add the two numbers together and divide it by two. Whatever you get now is your median. Then look at the example here. We have a four, we have one, four, six, and nine. Here we have four and six. So four plus six, that is 10. 10 divided by two, that is five. So five your middle number again. And also, uh, don't forget all what we planned today. Uh, make sure you go over your notes. I've sent your notes to you on website. Copy your notes, start it small, check your, uh, your, your textbooks, your mathematics textbook, and do more exercise. Thank you very much.